welcome to the heart of a Viking. This channel offers elementary art lessons taught by Mrs. Minto from the Cape and Lopen School District in Delaware. I look forward to virtually creating with you. There are new lessons posted weekly. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a single one. So go grab your art supplies and your thinking caps and let's begin. Welcome back, kindergarten artists. Have you ever seen such an adorable penguin? Well, this is our project for today. So make sure you have your supplies gathered and let's get started. All right, so we are starting with a blue piece of paper as our background today. And I'm going to be using a white crayon to make it look like it's snowing. So I'm going to focus putting my snowflakes near the top of my paper. I have to press a little bit harder than I think I should because with a white crayon on the blue paper, you've got to press a little bit harder. And I'm going to start making a snowflake by making an X and putting a line down the center. Then I'm going to add a line that goes across. That's perfect for a snowflake. Now let's make a few more. So some of my snowflakes are going to be so far away that they're just going to look like a little white speck, little white dot floating in the air. So I'm going to add a little of those awesome little white flecks or little spots floating in the air all over between my snowflakes. Okay, so next I'm gonna to switch to my black piece of paper. This piece of paper should be tall and thin like mine is. So I'm going to hold it so it's tall and thin in front of me, and at the very top, I'm going to make a rounded line. It looks like an upside down letter U or a rainbow. So I'm going to make it go from one side of my paper all the way over to the other side. Then I'm going to use my scissors to cut on the line. After you have that cut out, you're going to use a glue stick, which mine is very hard to open, sorry about that, and I'm going to put some glue on the messy side. That's the side where I can see that white line that I made with my crayon, and I'm going to put some glue on that same side. Then flip this over and line up the flat edge of the penguin with the flat edge of the blue paper right there in the middle. Looks perfect. And then push that down. And don't forget my super secret for getting this to stick really well. Flip the whole thing over and rub it from the back after you rubbed it from the front for a few seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our white paper. The white paper needs to be tall in front of you just like the black paper was, and believe it or not, we're making the same line at the top. That U shape, upside down U shape or rainbow shape. So at the top of your white paper, the exact same shape as your black paper. And again, after you draw it, cut it out. Did you notice I switched to pencil for the drawing this? If I'd used white crayon, I wouldn't be able to see it. Then, just like with the black paper, I'm going to glue the flat bottom edge of the white paper along the flat bottom edge of the blue and black paper to make the penguin's tummy, just like this. All right, so now we're going to use some of our scraps. So I'm finding my white scrap from when I cut out my penguin's tummy and I'm folding it in half so that the two big corners kind of line up together just like this. Then using my pencil I'm going to draw the biggest circle I possibly can on this piece of paper. So my circle might be a little bit smaller or bigger than your circle. It just depends on the size of your scraps. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw myself a circle. Then as soon as I'm done I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the circle shape. Now, I want you to make sure that you are double cutting. That means that you are cutting through double the pieces of paper, and double means two. So make sure you're cutting through both layers of your folded paper so you get two circles, just like this, whenever you're all done. What do you think those are for? I hope you guessed the eyes. So we're gonna flip our paper back over and put his two big cute eyes right there. And of course, glue those down. 
All right, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get that white scraps again, and I need you to cut a triangle shape. I kind of already had sort of a triangle shape left over here, so look what the triangle is gonna be perfect for. His beak, wasn't that amazing? And I am going to add a little bit of color to that beak. I'm going to add some orange or yellow, whatever color you think is more appropriate for your penguin. And of course, grab a black crayon whenever you have a chance to draw the black circles in the eyes, just like I did. I forgot to take a video of me doing that part, but you should definitely do that too, right whenever you are coloring your penguin's beak. Now, I'm going to get my black scraps, my little black pieces that were left over from cutting out the top part of my penguin, and I'm going to use them to make his little wings. Now, I am keeping them as big triangle shapes, and I'm going to play with them first. So move them up and down, kind of twist them to the side, see which way you want your little penguin's wings to be flapping. And I'm also going to sort of tuck mine under my penguin's body, just like this. And then when you finally have them in a spot that you like, go ahead and glue them down. And then my very final step is to add any other details you would like. I used some orange scrap paper that I had here in the art room and I made mine a scarf. You could always make yours a hat, you could make earmuffs, whatever you think that your penguin would like to wear on a cold winter's day. So you can finish up your penguin and I can't wait to see you back here next time at the Heart of a Viking. HOB artists, don't forget to hop on over to Art Sonia to upload a photograph of your piece of artwork to your art portfolio. I can't wait to see it.